His blood has been paid for. <laughs> for what? <laughs> By who? Awaka chiana gadema. Manonya se na waka chi di yama wanyi tu ku waka cha o polu ponye. Wanyi tu kunemu. Ask not what you need not to know. <laughs> Very good morning to you. Thank eh? you, my How are you? I am fine. You're welcome to my house. Yes. I hope the spirits left you alone last night. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> or unfortunately, somebody must have given them sleeping pills. <laughs> so I slept very well. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're welcome to my house. Uh, I am on my way to the market. So I thought I should bring you this keg of palm wine. It's the only one left. Yeah? And since you like palm wine a lot, I said, you can have this one. Oh, Ibe. Hmm? Ibe, you're such a kind man. That there are only very few of you in this village. Mm -mm. Hmm? So, what do I owe you for this? Uh, 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 hey, you don't owe me anything. It's free. Hey. Yeah. I know that you know. But please, don't allow it to stay too long on this main floor. If not, it will get sour quickly. Ibe, I'm a woman. I'm 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 I know what I'm I know what of things. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be on my way now. It's all right. Go yeah. well, eh? Thank you. Go well. Uh -huh. Ibe, Ibe. I don't know you people in this village. How much am I? <laughs> you are looking for who to kill. Certainly not Apara. <laughs> <Amarike. laughs> I know you people. <laughs> Wicked people. You think I don't know that this palm wine you brought here is poison? Ah, ma'am. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am not foolish. Apara is not foolish. We know you people. We know you. Eh? But don't worry. Very soon, we shall know who owns the sweet palm wines in this village. Very soon. Oh no, Kawasia, you've not started. <laughs> I will return this back to wherever he came from. Eh? Mwah. You're welcome. Mm. There he comes. Good afternoon. You friend, my son, how do you do? I'm fine, sir. Looking well. How was school today? Fine, sir. I hope you're doing well. Yes, sir. Good. Excuse me, sir. Uncle Okando, God has been good to me. My son Ephraim scored the highest in their jam as if he was one that set the examination. Mm. He scored so high that the government offered him scholarship. Mm. Mm. Imagine having to train two students in the university, two of my children without paying money. <laughs> you are indeed a very lucky man. You know, my son dropped out of school and left for the city. I've not heard from him ever since. I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not even sure he's still alive. You know, sometimes I'm tempted to ask God, why me? But again, I mean, he's the creator. He knows best. So, I guess, but I tell you the truth. I am really disturbed. I don't like the situation at all. Uncle, I don't think you should think that way. Your son comes from a good home. I'm sure he will get his bearing very soon. He's a young man. <laughs> Thanks for the prayer. Uh, I must be going. I came in rather late from Port Harcourt yesterday and I went to bed straight away. I went there to supervise the renovation going on in the building there. You know, since my brother died, I've been there only once. So I just thought to myself, why don't you renovate this building? I'm moving there instead of contemplating selling it. What do you think? Uh, no, 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 no. Selling it should be out of the question. Uh, by the way, uh, they are preparing something for you. Why don't you wait a while? Mm, thank you very much. Uh, uh, some other time. Uh, before you go, Uncle Okando, why don't you think of getting a wife? I mean, instead of running around and stressing yourself, you see, a man needs a wife at this time in life. I think you should think about it. I agree with you. 
and I thank you for the concern. The thought flashes across my mind occasionally, but I said to myself, let me finish with this building first, then I'll give it a serious thought. Oh, hmm? That's nice. It's all right. I'm so glad you visited. Thank you very much. You say you won't stay to take something. <laughs> <laughs> let me get home. Let me see you. It's a pleasure. Right? Good morning, sir. Good morning. the same age grid will die in mysterious circumstances in less than three months? Ha! Gigi, that is not ordinary. I can agree. Three or four people can die in the same period. It happens. But when it is more than that, and from the same village, nah, something is very, very wrong. Are you trying to tell me that somebody is trying to kill off our eighth grade? I have not said that. In fact, I don't even know what to think. Uzoma. Uzoma was buried over the weekend. His car sped off the express on his way home. How that car climbed a tree and got trapped in between the branches of a tree that is not less than 50 meters away from the express remains a mystery. Ha! Huh? Are you serious? And not only that, when he was brought down from the car, 
he did not have a single scratch on him. No injury was found on him. Jesus Christ! Mm. I don't think any of us heard about this in the city. All we heard was that he had an accident. But Ozoma was very rough. We all know that. But he is one of those who have done relatively well. And others too who died are those who seem to be making progress. Someone is trying to stop our youth from progressing. Someone somewhere is trying to wipe off a generation. I do go well done. I greet you people. Hey, well done, yeah. There you are. A hey, good day to you. Thank you. Well done, sir. Yeah, thank you. Well done. <laughs> yeah. should be happy that their children are progressing in life. Look, don't, don't get me wrong. I am not saying they are from this village. It could be from outside. Well, Obina, let us not allow our imagination run wild. Um, I'll be going tomorrow. Huh? I told my father I'll be coming back uh, during Easter so that you can go and see mass parents. I think it's time. Good for you. Good for you. Look, if I am as comfortable as you are, I would have married Adana long, long time ago. I envy you. Kai, you be that. That you are good, eh? Mm. Had it been, you have not met her first. Eh? And you are not my friend. I would have used money to scatter her head. She's too fine. <laughs> Utundo like you. I told you to come to the village and let me find a beautiful wife for you. You refused. Look, the finest girls in the world are here. And these girls are even wiser in issues of the waste than those wayward girls you, you have in the city. Akoko! <laughs> oh, you get when... Anyway, um, I'll be going to my mother's village. Huh? To see my uncle. Okay. I will see you when I'm leaving tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Come on. Drive carefully. Drive carefully. Oh. Ah. Be back. Mm. Don't worry your head. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will not have us dead in this village. tell a blind man that there is no oil in the soup but you cannot tell him that there is no salt after all he has tongue I want us to sort out this land matter now a mistake has been done 
After all, at this stage, anybody can make a mistake. You trespassed when you encroached on the portion of land belonging to me and you, Adomoji. I regard it as a mistake. Let it not happen again. Imo, I crossed no boundary. I said you have decided that your own part of the boundaries has been moved. And with the look of things, nothing like that has happened. The part myself and my workers cleared belonged to me. In fact, it is the part the, the, the clan assigned to my family. You know, when I started this talk, there was nobody around. And I told you earlier on that you are my brother. We don't need to start shouting at each other or raise our voices. You know why I refused to talk to you in the house? Because your wife and children were there. I waited for you to start escorting me so that I can talk to you as my brother. A wise man listens to few words from calm voice. But the foolish one does not even listen even from the bubbles and shouts. He doesn't listen. Iwoha has spoken. Let this encroachment not happen again. Iwa, wait. Do not talk to me like, like a story you pass you read on and walk away. I have respected you enough. But it's like you do not like respect. Maybe you like insults. Stay away from my family. That land is mine, and there is nothing you can do about it. What did you just say? Stay away from my family and I. Have you not taken enough lands? Where will you take these lands to when you die? Oh, you now wish me dead. Whatever meaning you want to read, so what I have just said is your business. Just stay away from my land. Stay away from my land. Good evening. Uh, we didn't see you in the house today. Uh, no, I, I told Obin I'll see him tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh, so if Obin is not at home, you will not come and see me. Ah, uh, uh, day, it's not like that. Uh, Don't worry, I'll try one of these days. Oh, hmm? good. <laughs> okay. Oh, those hips will dance on Adindu's bed. Yes, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. yeah, matter of time. Okay. She would, yeah. she would dance. Yes. Those hips. Those, those hips. They would, they would dance. They would dance. Oh. <laughs> ah. My husband. What is the matter? Woman, lie down and sleep. No, Mbappe. I have never woken up to find you staring at the ceiling. What is on your mind? Mm. Our son, he has grown so quickly. 
I remember when he said he was leaving for the city. How I was wondering how he was going to manage. Now look at him. He has made so much money. He has made sources. And more responsible, much more than I hoped he would ever be. The gods are with him. Which is the reason why I am a little bit worried. What about? Remember Iwa came here today. He actually came to tell me that I had a crush on his land and warned me to stay off. Okay. But nobody has encroached on his land. We know the boundaries. The same thing I told him. It's like he has wrong idea about where the boundaries should be. I did not like the feeling I got where he left. With what we are hearing, Quarry will be the last thing I would want to have with anybody. But my husband, Iwoa is a very good and a responsible man. In the morning, take a keg of palm wine and visit him. Make sure the both of you settle whatever the matter is about this land. He is your brother. And I wouldn't want the both of you to quarrel over this land issue. Biko. <sighs> My husband. Mm. Please don't let that bother you so much. Oh. Biko, what you need now is to lie down and rest. You know what? Thank you. Please, let's go back to bed. Ne me 
my son go straight don't go somewhere else with what is happening in this village today nobody knows who is who Biko. ah oh, papa why do you even make it look like everybody in this village is now a wizard we are good people no? uh, i know but go straight okay papa i've heard you um we're gonna, okay. i have to go now hmm? i will come back during this time hmm? Go back to the city together. <laughs> okay? I will also enroll you in school mm -hmm. ah. so that you can continue your education there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 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 right Go well. Go well. Look straight. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Take care of yourself and be a good girl. I am. Mm? Why do you say that? Baby, you know my reasons. <sighs> my love, you know the village I come from. If I do not go back to strengthen my roots, my stem will never be strong. So you just want to stand up and move to the village? I don't understand. I, I didn't say that. I, I just want to establish a presence around my people, that's all. <laughs> Baby, remember you told me they killed your siblings. So why do you want to bring these people back to our life? Those things are not true. Those things happened when we were very small. They were mere superstitious beliefs. My father died of cancer. My mother died of stroke. My brothers died in a motor accident. You don't expect me to attribute it to the activities of somebody in the village? I can't do that. Besides, they couldn't have killed my father. He was a very good man. He brought development to that community. He gave them good roads. He gave them good water. He gave them electricity. Even in the days of Nitor, he gave them telephone lines. So why would they kill him? He was a man loved by all. And yet, they killed him. Itara. Baby, to the pure all things are pure. You and I are very good Christians. We're not supposed to believe in all these things. Besides, I didn't tell you I was going to the village to stay. I just want to knock down the old building and put up a new one there. I am a politician. I'm running for the House of Representatives. A public office. I need to be smart. Once you're into politics, you need to be smart and very intelligent, and that is what I'm doing. Okay? I need to reconnect with the youth. It's very important. And who knows, one day you might just become the first lady of this nation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm serious. You know what, baby? I will live a stable life, and I don't want to lose you. You're not going to lose me. Do you trust me? Yes, baby. Do 
you trust me? Yes. <laughs> okay, if you trust me, give me a kiss. <laughs> Any man fool enough to pull a tiger by its tail, either asleep or awake, or they ask him for a quick burial. Ah, of course, <laughs> quick burial they will get. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you see, the Inza say that it might not be roaring as loud as the lion, mm. uh, but the little size it makes in the morning gets across the savanna, mm. just like the loud roaring of the lion. I mean, little by little, this land will eventually get to know who owns it. Mm. Like, like who? I don't do. Mm -hmm. what, what is it? Oh, that uh, young woman, she does something for my inwards. The way she's moving those hips, her legs going on and on forever. <laughs> you know, one of the things I like most in life is to have a woman with beautiful long legs that go on and tits like, 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 like this and I make her scream and roar and moan and grin and struggle with it with her toes pointing up towards my rafters oh well i am um, my manhood is exploring a womanhood <laughs> okay so what are you waiting for bedding a woman should be the easiest thing for a man as powerful as you are oh yes but uh, and the hook that will catch a fish must first of all have a worm attached to it. Listen, this riddle is not good enough for somebody that has the mouth full of fufu and the head full of pan wine. Mm, that little manhood teaser prefers my son's juvenile pistons. <laughs> 
Adendo. Adendo. Please, my brother. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have much on me. You know how it is where you come home. Everyone wants to have piece of you. I understand. Huh? I understand. Um, Just hold on to this. Eh? Uche. This is more than enough for my needs. Oh, eh? Thank you. You're my very good friend. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay? Just manage. Okay, thank you. Um, in a few more weeks, um, I will come back to the village. Huh? I will come home during Easter and um, we'll go back to the city together. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, what are you doing in the village? No, oh, I think it's, it's time you left this village. Let's go to the city and see what we can make for ourselves. Hmm. Okay? Uchechi, <laughs> this is the best news I've heard in two years. Ah, one next. <laughs> hey! Oh, a big one. <laughs> <laughs> a big one. Oh, my friend. Uh, Thank I mean, you. You see everyone can talk. <laughs> ah! This is the most beautiful woman in the world. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> but Uche, I thought you had left. Your sister said you'll be leaving early this morning. I came to see this monkey. <laughs> Otondo, Otondo <Kevo. laughs> but what I don't understand is what he has... I don't know what he has done to you that, that made you to refuse everyone. Huh? I'm more handsome than Risha. <laughs> maybe it's not all about who has more money. Oh, 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 okay. Um, maybe it's because of what he's carrying in between his legs. Ah, hey, Uche. Uche. Man, it's long ago. Ah, ah. You're so rotten. <laughs> he's the one that taught me all the bad things, so. Huh? You. <laughs> yes, any, <laughs> any. Adam. Uh, Uche just said he will be coming to pick me into the city during Easter. Back to town. Sure. And you leave me here alone. Adana, if you want Obina to marry you, you better leave him to go to the city and make money. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. Obina, okay. I think I will be leaving, okay? Thank you so much. And I'll take care of uh, Adana. <laughs> okay, go oh. well, eh? <laughs> Don't forget I'll you. I'll see you, people. Yes, yes, thank that. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Like I take care, eh? Okay. See you. Alright. Aha. Okay. Aha. How are you? Aha. Ah, Ibakonam. Ibakonam, a very good morning to you. This one that you're out early. There, you know, there are ants everywhere, so you take it easy. Eh? <laughs> you know what our people say? Mm. Eh? That when the cricket leaves his home eh? in the middle of a rainstorm, it means that it's either after something or something bigger than it has come to occupy its home. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you're after something. And not that something bigger than you has occupied your home. No, 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 that is not the case here. <laughs> because I know there is nothing in this land bigger than the mighty Aquara. <laughs> Ibakonam, Ibakonam, you honor me with your words. Eh? Well, without being told, I can see you're headed for the market. Yes, my brother. Tell me, Ibe, which one of your palm trees produced this frotted wine you're carrying? The ones near the Omungele River. The same Omungele River? Yes! Ibe, uh, because I don't know what is happening. I cannot understand anything anymore. Do you know that I have over 20 palm trees along that same Omungele River? Mm. But rather than produce sweet wine for me, they're all dying off. But I'm beginning to think that somebody must have done something to those palm trees that made them not produce anything for me. Mm, Akora, don't think like that. 
everything is in the hands of the gods. Eh? They are the one who gives and the one who blesses whom they want to bless. I think I'll be going now. You know those early buyers from Akuke? They don't joke with my palm wine. <laughs> <laughs> Go well, we've all heard that everybody is scrambling for your sweet palm wine. Uh, Go well, eh? I, my brother. Uh, I don't know what I did that the gods decided to bless me. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Go well. Okay. God bless only you. Thank you. Only you. <laughs> Go well. Hey. That the gods are blessing you. And they bless you because no one get to the brother. And they bless you because the gods are blessing you. Eh? Do we need to do anything before those partial gods that populate the pantheons bless us? Do we need to do anything? Ibe. 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 You will soon tell us if the gods come from your part of the village. Are they not our gods? Are they not meant to bless us all from this land? You will soon tell me what you did that only your countries produce sweet wine that everybody is scrambling for. Why, why, not I? You will soon pay for it. Adam, mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm? I don't know what I can possibly do without you. Hmm? Ma, you are back. Ma, you're welcome. Are you going? Um, I was going to walk Adana some distance. Uh, she came to see me. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, Adana, nah. you your mother for me, huh? Okay, now. Nah. Now that you're quiet, something must be going through your mind. What is the matter? It's nothing. It's really nothing. 
It's just that I don't like the way your father looks at me sometimes. My father? Yes. How does he look at you? Like there's something he doesn't approve of. <laughs> and uh, when will you grow up? When will you grow up? Look, my father may be old, but he's still a man. And you turn the head of every man in this village, whether old or young. In fact, the only way he looks at you is the way every man will look at the most beautiful woman in this land. Obina, <laughs> you have sweet mouth. Certainly I'm not the most beautiful girl in this village. Then tell me. Tell me why suddenly the birds have stopped singing. They have eyes only for you. <laughs> Obina. I hope you don't go around the village telling all the girls what you just told me. Oh, come on, Ada. If they were as pretty as you are, maybe. But none is. <laughs> Look, Ada, I reserve this words I've said for the only person that makes Unungale River forget to flow. Oh, Bina, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> as long as fire is lit in this fireplace and this figurine has this load on its neck and this bomb on its back all the problems of this life will be yours and you will remain a hunched back man all the rest of your life so I Aquarike have declared and so it shall be Sleep well. Sleep well.
coming. They are coming. Who's coming? Who's coming? <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what's wrong with this weather nowadays. In some parts of the world, it's getting hotter. Why in this town it's getting cold? That's for me, I think uh, I prefer it hot rather than cold. Are you serious? Yeah. How come on? <laughs> My brother, can you kindly ask her why she's complaining? Because I know she likes to call me too much. Uh... Why are you lying? Oh my... <laughs> come on, maybe I'll join you guys in. All right. All right. All right. Don't mind us. So tell me what do we have? Yeah, from what we have here, I need to see the location so that I can tell exactly the dimensions and elevations. Okay. Well, that wouldn't be a problem. I'll be going to see my uncle by the weekend. So when I finalize with him, then I can take you to see the location. I want that building standing in the next six months. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Well, you are a very lucky man, you know. So you have a village. What about people like us that don't even have one? What do you mean? Everybody has where he comes from. Uh, my dad told us we are from Edo State, Ishan, to be precise. But I've never been there. And he says he doesn't want us to go because he wants us to stay alive. That the witch is there, fly during the day. <laughs> and you know what? They go about sucking blood and killing everybody. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> My brother, listen. That is what they say about every village. As a matter of fact, it is the same thing happening in my village right now. Really? See, I believe people die every day. And most people who grew up at the same time succeed in life at about the same time. And probably because they were age mates, their generations die at the same time. So I don't believe in all this witches, Wizards, killing people in villages, sucking blood. It's a bit old school to me. Do you understand? Uh, really, I never had a chance to find out. <laughs> but I don't think I want to find out now either. <laughs> uh, cut the crowd. Like I was saying, I want that building standing in the next six months. Okay? Whatever you have to do, you have to do it fast. Right, that's good. Do we have a deal? A deal. This is one of the most shocking experiences of my life. He was a very enterprising young man. I was a few paces from Iwoha's house when his vehicle suddenly zipped past me. And the young man waved. And I waved back in return. But I thought to myself, it was, it was going too fast. I have driven cars for over 40 years and I don't remember driving as fast as that. Then I said to myself, why must all our young men insist on dying at the wheel by driving so recklessly? Why? This was a very enterprising young man. He, he just waved to me, not quite two minutes. I had this very loud sound, this explosion. People were running helter-skelter. Before I knew it, they told me that that same young man had died in a crash. He went to the terrible accident. I sincerely hope that something like this never happens again. Hmm. Now you can do. My friend did not die in a motor accident. He was killed. Which you are not. I know of you. Don't utter words that your tiny shoulders cannot carry. Your Highness, 
the roads of our land are flowing with the blood of the innocent who have been killed in it why they are being killed and who is killing them remains a mystery did you not hear Okando ask you to shut up did you hear him so why don't you shut up shut up Nayapara. the time for keeping quiet has long passed Uchechi is a sixth young man in my age grade who had done well and has been taken away by the cold arms of death between Christmas and today. Just three days. What was his crime? What was his crime? His crime is he made little money. He was telling me of the plans he had. How he was going to come back to the village and take young men to the city and establish businesses for them so that our young men can stand side by side with the young men of other towns. He even promised, he promised coming to take, take me with. <laughs> What have we done? It's alright. Be a man. The best thing you would do is to gather all the youths so that they will carry Uchechi's cuffs to his father's compound. <laughs> Evil men are holding this village to ransom and if nothing is done and done very fast we will all soon be dead men. Um, well, um, cut case. Something has to be done urgently for the total liberation of this land. Exactly my point, Father. This is what we are going to do. All right. Get me the youth president and the women's leader immediately. I will, Father. All right. I will make our time to go and see the Uwe. Okay, Father. All right. I think what Adindo's son that just left here said is the truth. Because what is happening in this land is not ordinary. There's a possibility we must have offended the gods. Somehow, somewhere, let us go in search and find out. Akwara, we have offended no gods. But let me ask you a question. Shall we remain tied to the apron string of primitivity and idolatry? No way! We must embrace civilization! This is not 1842. We are now Christians. Uh, but at the same time, that does not mean we are a people without culture and tradition. Neither have our gods gone to sleep because we turned our backs against them or on them. No! 
You see, the fact that we no longer offer sacrifices and recognize our gods could lead them to anger. And what they see fit in their anger is to start killing our young ones. Oh. Ozon do what do you want me to say? Otherwise, how can we explain the sudden deaths of young men and women in this land? Isn't it obvious to us? The hearts of men are darkened by evil. We've all gone against the reasons who Sepulwa, the great deity in the heavens, spewed us forth onto the earth. They have killed my soul. They have emptied my heart. They've made me nothing but a carcass waiting for the vultures to feast. They've taken the only thing that made me a man amongst men. They've deprived me of sleep. Sleep they shall know no more. I want my son's death avenged. Hmm. The gods have never given man the power of creation. Why has man chosen to take upon himself the power of death? A life for a life. That's the law of old. Uh, Father, what exactly are you talking about? It has taken place in other lands. Land deliverance is very important in every village, so as to put a stop to all the devilish activities, especially those that have to do with untimely deaths, which will bring about the much needed progress in this land. Uh, well, I think the Reverend Gentleman is correct. If that is what it will take to ameliorate the ugly situation in this town, I don't see anything stopping us from embracing it. Yes, we need progress. And anybody who needs progress in this land that should support the move. I'm in support of it. I'm in support. Yes. Yes. You talk about progress as if there's no progress at all in our community. There are signposts of progress all over the place. I mean, there are some distinguished individuals who belong to this community who represent progress. So uh, I don't know the kind of progress you are talking about. Look, the world that is only in the hands of a few in this village cannot be called progress. Our young men who should be the future of our land are dropping dead one after the other. Can anyone call this progress? Something is wrong some way that needs to be corrected. Uh, Ozondo, Ozondo, or whatever you call yourself, if you had worked hard enough in your heydays, what, this poverty you're experiencing now that is making you sound the way you sound will not be there let alone you blaming your poverty on the land. And why are you to tell me that, Akwara? Are you any better? Who's on? Is it you're talking to? Are you shouting at me? Who are you that I can't talk to? I will just blow you away from this. Look, look, look at this. Look at this po po poverty epitomized. Akwara, please take it easy. Please, I will not sit down. I, I will not sit down until he sits. Uzon, sit down. Uzon, sit down. Sit down. Sit down, please. Let there be peace. Sit down. One of my palm trees will buy you. And you stand before me. Aquara, sit down. It's a mistake challenging the desperation of poverty. Can't you see? Don't worry yourself. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I'm sorry. Sit down. Let's make some progress, please. Please, we need peace here. Remember that the Bible preaches that we should always love one another. We are here to see how to take care of the future of this village. We are not here to fight and pray with one another. So may there be peace here, please. It's true. 
We need collective progress in the land. We need our children to succeed us and not to die prematurely. We need prayers. Father, how do we go about deliverance of the land? And when do we stir it? It's all right, Igwe. We need to pray and fast for three days, after which we'll go around the whole village and make pronouncement over the land, denouncing all evil activities on the land. All the men who are bent on continuing with evil in this land will run away for good. And you will see the tremendous progress this land will witness. Why do they insist on provoking me into killing more people? Why? The Reverend Father. The Reverend Father will go same way his predecessors did. Exactly what my thoughts are. Daring to say he wants to cleanse the land of what? Of what? <laughs> that, that I don't know. The culture of our forefathers? culture they held so dearly, they revered traditions and ways of life of our people, gradually being destroyed all in the name of Christianity. Okando, mm -hmm. the Igwe, the Igwe is overtaxing my patience. I know, I know. I have my reasons why I want the Igwe to just stay on, have my reasons. After we would have dealt with the Reverend Father and ensure that his influence is gone completely, then we shall turn our attention to the Igwe and deal with him. Well, it is said that when the head goes, the body follows. We shall deal with him.
When old people die, there's hardly any mourning. And the reason is simple. The general feeling is that they have lived their lives and they have all gone home. But when you want to compel obedience, loyalty, that way they'll be parasitically dependent on you. That way you can guarantee subservience on their part. Fear, that's the instrument. And you know, when we take their young ones, they begin to wonder why those who are supposed to live die. Fear grips them. But they haven't seen anything yet. Mm. Mm. Absolutely nothing. But wait, wait, wait. Aguara. What is this I hear about the problem you're having with the palm wine oh. tapa, Ibe? I've already dealt with, finished it. You see, I have uh, a few palm trees along the Umungale River. And these idiots happens to have a few too along the same Umungale River. But unfortunately, his has been flourishing while man has been dying, withering away. And the idiot has been boasting about it. And you know what our people say? When a man is carrying a button on his back, he cannot climb a palm tree. Mfe Ajo. Good. I gave it to him. A heavy button. Mm -hmm. I gave to him. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That that he will carry for the rest of his life on his back. That way he gets to know who Aqua Ike is. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. And you know what? The abundance of the land belongs to those who know the secret art of the dark ages <laughs> and we all do <laughs> oh who can do i was talking to Iwaha a few days ago about my own personal problem uh, what is the problem that is this young woman who has tied my mind to her waist and until I have her squirming under me, <laughs> my mind, <laughs> my mind will know no rest. Oh, my mind will know no peace. I didn't do me long get better. Pity, baby, have pity. I didn't do. I said it before, and I'll say it again. That witch between a woman's thighs will send you to your early grave. Mark my words. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> it takes one to know one. <laughs> Something will kill a man. Wow. But me, I would like it to be warm, to be wet and slippery. I want the woman under me, squirming. I want her moaning and groaning with a loving hand attached to it. <laughs> so instead of all this endless daydreaming, you know what to do. Why don't you go ahead and do it? I know what to do. But the problem with this young woman is that she is the object of my son's obsession as well so what you're telling me is that you want to stretch your hand and take out meat from your son's mouth I have not given him meat yet mm. All right. I have not even decided to give him yet good but if I do then I must have one bite <laughs> one bite mm? and then I will give her to, to, to him that is against our laws. What? A man and his son cannot enter the same woman. No. So something has got to give. My, my only son. My, my only child. You know what to do, don't you? Uh, please, uh, can we just uh, forget about this? Uh, I didn't do the uh, fantasies and talk about better things. Uh, can, can somebody tell me about this uh, reverend gentleman? What do we do about him? Mm. Mm, that is a very good question. 
Yes, this young man has reached the road junction that crushed his predecessor. I think it is only fair that he should suffer the same fate. Um, I didn't know that's an ideal prescription, which I totally endorse, but I suggest we tread cautiously mm. because right now all eyes are on us. So we must work with circumspection. Whatever I'm scared, look, uh, uh, can do. whatever we must do, please let us do and do fast. Because I don't want to pack out of this village. Like the man boasted in the palace the other day. No, I have nowhere else to go to. Nowhere else. Agora, leave that matter for me. I will handle it. I know how to handle such matter. In fact, go and sleep. Iwoha specializes in handling clergymen. So let's leave that assignment to him. He will report back to us before too long. Have you heard us? It's a finished matter. Good. Nothing actually, Pastor. He overworked himself yesterday, so I just had to let him sleep today. A man should not overwork himself to the point that he does not have time to give God worship. He's the one that gave us the strength to work in the first place. He just needs that little time of worship. Please, it is very important. Okay? Yes, Pastor. Pastor, um, yeah. the reason why I came, you see, my husband and I are going to the village tomorrow morning. I've not been to his village before. Pastor, you see, my husband is the only surviving child of his parents. He told me about his uncle, who is said to have killed his parents and siblings, collected everything they have. You see, Pastor, he's trying to reacquaint himself with the same people. Pastor, I really don't know what to do. It is important for a man to reconnect himself with his roots. In that way, he could be able to give his family a sense of belonging. Okay? But Pastor, what if his uncle is still looking for him to get him killed? <laughs> Tara, how about if he didn't kill anybody in the first place? Maybe he's only looking for his only surviving nephew so he could make a mind. 
Maybe why he took over the business and the estate was because there was no one left to take over the business. Or just maybe he got to realize that he has sinned against God and man and he wants to make amend. Look, I am not trying to make excuses for him. But we should be very careful so we don't judge people based on what other people said about them. It is very important. But Pastor, I really don't want him to go to that village. Pastor, I don't want to lose him. Bye, 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 Penny Bow. Ibe! Greetings to the owners of this household. Who is there? Ibe! Oh, I'm here. Oh, oh yo. Ah. Ah, shit. Oh, bro, again. Ah, I'm going back. Okay, can I, man? Ah. What is the matter? Dave, I'm not welcome. Eh, no. Ah, ah, Ibe. Eh? What is wrong with you? Hey, that small itch uh, that started in the market the other day. Uh -huh. uh, see how big it has grown now. Uh -huh. uh, since then, I've not had any sleep. You see, it keeps growing bigger and bigger. And my body's like uh, somebody's roasting me over a slow flame. Remember, I don't know who I've offended. The more mm. I knew that something was wrong. Mm. When I did not see you in the market yesterday, mm. and everybody was uh, asking after your palm wine, mm. I knew that something was not very right. Well, I said, let me come and see you this, this morning. Huh? So, what have you been taking for it? Uh, some herbs that uh, Ibe Ibe did be recommended. Mm. Uh, and this oil that my daughter is rubbing on it. But the more we rub the thing, the more it grows. Uh, uh. We will go to the clinic in town tomorrow. Mm. Let the doctors look at it and tell us what is wrong. I think something beat him. Wise words. You know, you, you, you do not joke with this thing. Mm. Because there are too many strange insects in this land. Mm. And we do not have a cure for them all. Uh, uh, Mm. My concern now is that my palms have not been tapped for the past two days. They are overflowing. And if nobody taps them this evening, they all go, sir. Uh, uh. Ibe, I will help you do that now. I will do that for you. Uh, I will do that for you. Can you manage? Why? Because I, I, I know how many you have to tap if you include my own to yours. I will manage. Mm. I will manage, Ibe. Man. I know that uh, if I am in this condition, Ibe, you would do the same for me. Mm -mm. Thank you, Wemba, my friend. May Amadeo and all the other gods continue to bless you. He said one name walker. Here. Mm. Oh. So can I can I can I just uh, see it? Uh, and you can. Here. Oh. Uh. Uh, 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 Do you know this does not feel like an ordinary boil? In fact, it is like there is bone inside. Huh? Sorry, my friend. Mm -hmm. I know your husband. He is a good man. A good Christian. You see, the Bible says, as mountain is around Jerusalem, so is the presence of God around his people, especially his enemies. I do not see anything happening. And back to you, sister. You have to deal with fear. 
Do you not know that fear is a spiritual sin? Yes, Pastor. We have to deal with fear. That is what makes us good Christians. You see, we cannot keep living our life thinking of what the devil can do or cannot do. What we should be thinking about is what God can do. The almightiness of God. I don't see how this dream will harm you or your husband. The most important thing is what he's going there to do. Pastor, he said he's going there to see his uncle and start making arrangements of building houses. And he wants to reacquaint himself with his people because of his political ambition. Very laudable. You know, you and your husband are very good Christians. Mm -hmm. I mean, you support in the projects in church. You pay your tithes often. And such is a protection of God. I do not see any harm happening to you or your husband. Can I ask you a question? Yes, Pastor. Have you seen any good businessman that would want to close down his business? No, Pastor. No. Good. Let me have your hands. Let me join you in prayers. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. My Lord and my King, I commit my sister here, Idara, and the husband, Jami K. Father, Lord, I commit their trip into your evil hand. Father, any weapon form fashion against them shall not prosper. Amen. Every plan of the enemy concerning their lives shall be made quiet. Amen. They shall by no means hold their foot on the stone. Amen. Hey, Maleke Lebo Laba Shantala. Grande Lebo Haya Bronde Lekaya. Oh, I thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because you always hear me. Thank you, Father. Oh, it is done. Amen. You will go and come back with testimonies. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is well. Amen. It is well. Amen. It is well. If I am the Ugwe mm. of this village, I will put a stop to all this rubbish. I want to become the next Ugwe. So that, Kurocha, why won't you brother. be the Ugwe? Please, uh, we are looking for the way to work at those companies. Who are you? I am looking for work at those companies. Because you are wearing black and black, I should jump up and say, this is work at those companies. We are brothers. Can you just show me the way? Who is your brother? You don't know your body again. I'm looking for Kano sir. You're wearing black and black. This is a problem. A young man will just walk in and ask for Kano sir. Good afternoon. Why is the Kano sir? Good day, gentlemen. Please, I'm sorry to bother you. I sent him. We're actually looking for De Ukando's residence. My name is Jamike. I am from this village. Oh, hey! That one is now? Yeah. Okando's <laughs> nice. Who doesn't know the road to Okando's house? In fact, he just drove past here a couple of minutes ago. Please, do you know his house? Follow straight now. When you get to the end of the road, you follow left and follow left again. Oh, very correct. You will see the biggest house in this village. It's owned by Okan. If he's around, you will see his car there. One fine car there. He parks it in front of the house. Do you know why he parks it there? 
He wants every passerby to see it. He's the only one in this entire village with such a car. Even the Igwe and the Igwe in council, none of them have that kind of car. What baffles me is how he made such big money. Because every night and day, he's here with us in this village. Yes. Yet, he spends the money like he's running out of fashion. Always control your mouth. You talk too much. The house is just a stone throw. Thank you very much for that detailed information. One more thing, please. Do you know the youth leader of this village? Everybody knows the youth leader, Obinna. His name is Obinna. They are the son. Hi! Obinna. His best friend, Uchechi, Nanyimbakwe's son, died. They carried his corpse to the palace. While they are still thinking of what to do, his father Mbakwe hung himself and died. Hmm. There are a lot of evil in this village. You better be careful. Mind the way you go and who you talk to. They said uh, there are cult of wizards and witches responsible for the killing. But me, I said it's a lie. The elders must have committed an abomination. And the gods are very, very angry. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Do you live here? Mm -hmm. This is my house. This is where you live? Huh? Okay, I'll come to you tomorrow. You will take me to the youth leader. I need to see him. Oh, I'm here waiting for you. All right, thank you very much. Be careful, oh! Hi! Have you been standing here all along? Yeah. I didn't know. Like, your village people, they are very friendly people. Mm, and the amount of information they give in this village is so crazy. But if everybody should be like that, Okorocha boy, yeah. then this village does not have secrets. Uh, no, I could remember what he was talking about. You know, the same car I told you? My father bought before he was ordained night. Are you serious? Yes, and he didn't drive it. Yeah, yeah. Because it was the same night he died with my mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sweetheart, sorry, okay? Mm, are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. I didn't, I didn't know you were standing here. I was listening to that funny guy. <laughs> Let's go. It was my intention to spare the woman and her child. But after the way that woman spoke to us, accusing us openly, without fear, without respect, I said no. Allowing them to live will be a mistake. Iwaha, there will be no seed in Mbappé's compound. And I mean every word of it. I mean, what are women turning into? What? That is the problem in the land. I have always liked her. I'm just waiting for the dust of the death of the husband and the son to settle before I eventually take her and the daughter in and take very good care of them. You know, that woman looks like somebody who can produce more children for someone and uh, of course satisfy the urge of any man. <laughs> Oh, you are mad. Positively mad. Look at that woman's mouth. That woman's mouth can send any sane man to an early grave. If that is your ambition, no problems. I would simply say you have my sympathy. Don't blame me for whatever happens to you. Don't. That woman can satisfy a man. Can <laughs> he was
I can perceive the presence of somebody in my compound. No, we weren't living in the village at the time. We had a house in Port Harcourt. Oh, told you. Really? So what happened? I don't know. That's what I'm about to find out. My uncle is out. That's my oh, uncle. Oh, okay. Good afternoon, sir. Well, good afternoon, young man. Yes, how can I help you? Um, I know you do not recognize me. Yes, you're right, I don't. Who are you? My name is Jamike. I'm Salas's last son. Wait. Jamike? Yes, it's uncle. Jamike! <laughs> hey! Uncle. <laughs> Uncle. God, it is how you work. Only yesterday I was talking to you about him. I said I must go and look for this young man. Today he is here. Yeah, Mike, be happy, 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 happy. Mm. Mm. Uncle, I'm happy. You know, I never knew I would live to see this day. Hi! Oh. Mm. All right. Yamike, yeah, where did they take you to? Uh, Uncle, here and now is not the right time to talk about that. Uncle, pardon my manners. This is my beloved wife. Her name is Idara. Idara, this is my uncle, the one I've always talked about. Good afternoon, sir. Idara, Bia. <laughs> my son's wife is my daughter. You are welcome. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir. I've heard a lot of things about you. My husband here has been telling me so much about you. Good things, I hope. <laughs> oh, not a bad word, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Look, I bought a keg of beautiful palm wine from eBay this morning. As if I knew you would come. Yeah, come. <laughs> Wait. Who has all these cars? Uncle, they're my car. And who are these people? <laughs> they are my bodyguards. <laughs> hey! What money does? Gami can now move with bodyguards. God, I thank you. Oh, cool. No, this bodyguard will not drink my palm wine. Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Do not grieve for long. They get up and live whatever may have happened. You lost your friend three days ago. His death was a bad one. His family must have dipped their hands into something evil. Or Mbakwe to have hung himself. Well, 
sitting, moping, grieving will not bring him back. You need to rise and make a success of your life. Don't give up. I want, uh, I want to go and see John here. Yeah, I shall be long.
and I am also a wealthy man. I am not asking for too much. All I want is a piece of land to build a house I can call my own. That's all I want. I am happy, my son, that God has blessed you. You will find somewhere to build a house. That's not a problem. Tomorrow in the morning, I'll take you to a place where we have four parcels of land. Going to make your choice. You see, I'm an old man now, and my idiot son has been away for the past six years. I don't even know where he is. My sincere prayer is that you do your utmost to bring your brother, my son, back so that you can help him find his feet and wipe away the shame in disgrace, the tragedy that has brought on the family name. If you are able to do that for me, my son, then I will die a very happy man. Uncle, I'm sorry about you, son, but I promise you I'll find him and I'll bring him back home. Thank you very much, my son. Uncle, the food is ready. God bless you, my daughter. Amen. Which I'll join you soon. Thank you, sir. Uh, from the arrow I perceived, your wife must be a wonderful cook. Oh. <laughs> She's from Cross River. You know no what wonder. No wonder. <laughs> I am told that they know how to take care of their plan. Yeah, they do. They do. Um, Uncle, God will bless you immensely. Oh, you have already blessed me. I mean, you're coming back home. is the biggest blessing that God has given to me. Yes. Let's not delay your wife's cooking. Mm -hmm. Your wife cooks well. <laughs> I don't know what it does well. What is it? Good evening, good evening. Get up, get up, my daughter. What is it? Wow. My father. Yes, what? My father is dying. Dying? Yes. Yes, I know he's sick. Has his illness gotten worse? It has? He has developed a hunchback. And this evening, his stomach started to protrude. Hey. I don't know what else to do. We've taken him to the clinic in town, and they said nothing is wrong with him. I want to go and call it very bad so that you will look at him. There's nothing else I can do. Okay, just go. Run. Run, run, okay? When I just get ready, I'll go and stay with him. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. What are my eyes seeing? Ibe, what is this? Uh, uh, eh? Ibe, this is not ordinary. It is not ordinary. Ibe, tell me. Who have you wronged? Uh, tell me who you have wronged. Let me know. Let us know where to begin from. Let uh, us know how to help you. Who have you wronged? Who have you wronged? Nobody. Uh, I have not wronged anybody. Deli Bagona, <sighs> this must be from the gods. Uh -uh. You see, sometimes we, we might claim to be Christians. But you see, the gods can actually exert vengeance when they are angered. So tell me who you have wronged. Let us know how to save you. You see, if we offer sacrifices to the gods, they can still hear us and answer us. <sighs> Tell me, it's between me and you. Who have you wronged? Uh, 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 I have wronged no man and no God. His hands are clean. So, so, why is this happening to you? Because all my life I have never heard or seen where a man goes to bed at night and wakes up in the morning with a hunchback. And I even hear you, you have a protruding, protruding stomach. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, you know, you know, you know with a, a hunchback 
and they put it in stomach. Mm -hmm. eh? He back on him. Mm -hmm. It is only you and I here. Tell me the truth. Who did you wrong? Because it is obvious that this is a punishment from the gods. Mm -hmm. One, tell me, who did you wrong? Uh -huh. This is a good night to die. 